Hello everyone. So in this video, we will understand the concept of header and item tables. Now we will understand the header and item tables available in SAP. We will take the reference from SAP standard tables we will see those tables and after that we will create our own header and item tables now firstly we should understand what is header and what is item we'll take a example suppose i went to a grocery shop and i bought three things from the market suppose tea coffee and sugar and the person the shopkeeper gave me the bill then how the bill look like firstly on the top the name of the shop will be there what is the customer name on what date i bought the products at what time and what is the payment mode? I did the payment by which mode? Debit card, credit card, cash. And what is the bill number? So I bought three items. So in this particular bill, what is header information and what is item information? This all is your header information and this is your item information so this customer name date bill number time mode of payment all this is the header information and this is your item information these are the items in this particular bill now these items are totally totally dependent on the header suppose simple thing if there is no bill number is there any bill number in the is there any items in the bill number no means without header information there is no existence of the items so your items are totally dependent on your header. Suppose we'll take a, another example. You are buying suppose two to three items from Amazon Pay or suppose I'm saying any other thing which you are using. Now you are getting a order number and you are getting a suppose a bill number and you have multiple items in that bill. So those items are your item information and how the bill will be on the top of that your address is written, customer name is written, suppose mode of payment is written. So all these are header information and those whatever the items you bought, that is all your item information. Now we will see this in SAP and you will get more idea what is header and what is item. Now in every module of SAP, SAP followed the concept of header and item tables. In SAP SD module, SAP MM module, SAP FI module, every module SAP followed the concept of header and item tables header tables will store the header information and item tables will store the item information suppose we will start with sap sd module i will go to sc11 transaction code I am putting the table VBAK. Yes, it is a SAP standard table because name starts with V. I am displaying that table. It is a sales order 
header table it is storing the header data of the sales order i am going for the contents of the table now suppose i am passing some test case here i am passing some input value i am going for execute now this all is the header information means what date what time who who is the name of the user so this table has the header information suppose i will go to vbap table this is the item table for sales order i am going for the contents and same sales order number i am passing here now you can see that particular order has two line items here 10 line item 20 line item and these are the item descriptions so you can see vbak is the header table and vbap is the item table but without header without header there is no significance of item if i do not have a sales order how the items can belongs to that sales order so without header there is no existence of item suppose we'll go for another example so in sap sd module we have billing tables also billing document header table billing document item table vbrk vbrk suppose i will go for vbrk table i am going for display i am going for the contents suppose i am passing some billing document number and you can clearly see it is a billing document header table i am going for execute i just change the test case i think i am passing this is a test case for the table i am passing this test case now this is the billing document number it has all the header information now if i will show you vbrp table it is the billing document item table now if i am passing the same billing document here you can see that billing document has two line items here we can have multiple line items yes suppose if i am buying 10 products there will be 10 line items if i am buying one product one line item will be there if i am buying five products five line items will be there and without the billing document number without the header there is no existence of item if i do not have a billing document how i can find the line items of that billing document so without header there is no existence of item now we will continue the same topic in the next video thank you